Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, this one I'll be going through how I made the sleeves for the Gwen dress. So um, I've actually already got a whole list of videos um, to do with this Gwen dress. If you don't know what the Gwen dress is, I'll insert the picture here. It's basically a dress from the TV show Merlin and I'm making it as a cosplay um, costume for my sister. And I've already got the corset, base dress and neckline videos um, for this dress and I'll link those down below in the description box. Anyway, moving on to what you can see in the clips, I'm basically showing the sleeve, um, the undersleeve and the oversleeve and those are taken from the butterick pattern. Um, if you go to the other videos you'll see that um, the pattern that I used. Uh, which is just a basic medieval dress pattern and here I'm just choosing the thread that best matches my already painted gold leaves um, which you would have seen if you watched my uh, the making of the neckline video anyway I'm using what I had left of the leaves which wasn't much and uh, trying to arrange them in a nice way on the under sleeve so this is the sleeve that goes um, just up to the elbow and extends a little bit over onto the hand. So the point, the point part is where it uh, goes over the hand and then the rest of it just um, fits on your arm just like a glove um, up to the elbow. As you can see here, and I've just pinned the, uh, the leaves into place to see if the placement is okay. So I was thinking of doing a more scattered leaf design, but then ended up settling on a more uh, more of a straight line that just goes up the arm. Um, it's a lot more simple and is just easy to make sure it all aligns and matches up with the other sleeve. So I just hand sewed the leaves down. Um, and I just sewed through the stem of the leaves rather than the actual leaves themselves so that would give um, the details a little bit more of a 3D effect where the leaves lift off the fabric. So here I'm just cutting out some more of the leaves and then placing them um, on the other sleeve and then pinning those into place. So basically repeating the exact same process that you saw um, done on the first sleeve. So that's both of the sleeves with the gold leaf detailing on and I'm just trying them on to make sure that the leaves look okay when worn. And then the next part is the placement of these little crystal flower things. Um, you would have seen me use them in the neckline video if you watched it. Um, and in the neckline video I kept the flower crystal things in clusters of three whereas on the sleeves I decided to cut out single uh, single flowers and then somehow <laughs> sew them onto the fabric. So because these crystal flower things are not um, they're not meant to be sewn onto fabric it's literally just a chain um, so there was nothing to actually sew through um, when sewing it to the fabric so what I did was like curl the um, what curl like twist the thread around um, like around and around the base of the flower and tried to secure the flowers in place that way um, which did seem to work but it was just a little bit time consuming so here I decided to add some flower details on the underside of the sleeve and I was thinking of just leaving it as a long chain, but then I decided to cut up the flowers so they were single flowers and then place maybe five or six um, just where the underneath the wrist is.
And here you can see the difference that the flowers make, so it's quite a big difference compared to um, with just the leaf detailing. And here I'm sewing down the flowers on the underside of the sleeve, so this is just a nice touch and I'm trying to mimic the effect of little uh, button or button loop closures. So I'm just tying a knot once I've finished that, snipping the thread, and I'm um, sorry about the flashing red light, I was watching TV and the TV um, light seems to reflect on the table. So anyway, here are the finished uh, details on the under sleeves, and I really do like the details on the under part. Um, that detail there where it mimics uh, a closure, and it's... Yeah, it's just a nice touch in my opinion and then I um, I cut out some very thin ribbon and used these as finger loops just on the end where the point of the sleeve is and that loop will just uh, fit over the middle finger on each hand um, just to keep the sleeve uh, over the over the upper part of the hand when worn. So this was actually a request by my sister. Um, yeah, and I think she's right in requesting it because it definitely helps with keeping the sleeve nice and smooth on the arm. So just hand sewing those down, lots of lots of um, tack stitches to tack that down. So now the under sleeves are done and it's time to move on to the over sleeves. Um, yep, so here are the over sleeves. Uh, you would have seen them at the beginning of this video and now I'm. What am I going to do? I think I either attach the over sleeves to the under sleeves or I gather them. Um, but here I'm just showing you how it. How I'm thinking it will it will look. Um, so nothing's sewn down there. Oh, this is the next step. I sewed the under sleeves to the sleeves of the dress. So there's like three parts to the sleeves. There's the under sleeve, which is the lower part of the sleeve that I'm putting on now. Um, the actual sleeves of the dress, which are the ones that are covering uh, my upper arms. So where my biceps are. I don't know I don't know the body part names, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but basically I'm just attaching those two pieces so they form one whole long sleeve. Um, I do know that I could have cut the sleeve all in one when I first made the dress, but I I wasn't sure that I wanted the sleeves to be long sleeves um, permanently. Um, so yeah. Now I'm extending the sleeves, so hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I placed some pins just so I would know where the lower part of the sleeve has to meet the upper part of the sleeve, um, because you don't want the in, the embellishments that you just sew, sewed on and the point of the sleeve where it covers the arm. Uh, covers the hand to be twisted or anything so that's why I went through that process of actually putting on the dress and then pinning the lower sleeve to the upper sleeve and now I'm just matching up those pins um, and then pinning all of that into place right sides together of course and then hand stitching that into place now I know I could have machine stitched this but as I said, I wasn't sure when I was making this dress whether or not I wanted the dress to have 
uh, long sleeves permanently, permanently. Um, at least with hand sewing the sleeves on I have the option of just ripping out my stitches and then the dress will have um, short sleeves again um, so that was my thinking there and the other thing is when you hand sew you have a lot more control um, and because it's such a funny part of the arm to be to have a seam uh, you definitely want it to not be wonky although mine might be a little bit wonky but I, I think it looks fine <laughs> Um, so this is the part where I moved on to the the outer sleeve, I guess. So the really big long sleeve that drapes uh, drapes down. So here I'm just gathering the short part of that sleeve um, and then letting the long part just drape down. So the top part has to be gathered, which is what I'm doing here. I just, yeah, just hand sewed it, gathered it. Um, and then tied it off in a knot so the gathers wouldn't come undone. So now those over sleeves are nicely gathered. I was experimenting with uh, the placement of them, um, whether they should sit above the elbow or below the elbow. And yeah, and now experimenting with the actual dress on. So I think I settled with above the elbow. So the reason for this is because when the the, uh, the outer sleeves were below the elbow, like started below the elbow, I found that the fabric covered the lower part of the sleeve too much. Whereas if it sits above the elbow, um, it still allows for the embellishments on the lower sleeve to show. So that was that was my thinking there. And then to attach it to the dress, um, again I put in some placement pins to uh, give me an idea of where the upper sleeve, the sorry, the over sleeves should lie, um, just to make sure they're not sitting in the wrong position and are all twisted and the gathers are in the wrong place and that sort of thing. Um, and then I pinned it and sewed it down uh, just like I did with the undersleeves. Again I hand sewed this down because well there was no way I was able to do this on a machine since the long part of the sleeve Sorry, the long, like the whole long sleeve was already on the dress and there's no way to uh, fit the sewing machine, fit the sleeve onto the sewing machine uh, thing. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's the outer sleeve done and the under sleeve is sewn on. And yeah, like it has sleeves, the proper, proper sleeves that I wanted. And the seam, that ugly seam that is in the middle is actually covered up by the gathers so that worked out really well. So that's that's the sleeves, all done, and I really like the way they look, very graceful and elegant, and hopefully you think it looks like the actual costume. <laughs> um, here it is with the belt. Um, I will actually make a video on uh, the getting dressed uh, part of this video series. Um, where I actually show how I get into the costume and is doable by yourself. Although, um, on the day that this costume will actually be worn, um, I will be helping my sister get into it. It is quite hard to do the lacing on the back uh, by yourself. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and leave a comment down below. Um, any questions you may have or whatever. Um, and until then, uh, see you next time.